Hi guys, this is Tash. <clears throat> this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Today's video is my Year of Whips wrap up. So the end of 2018 Year of Whips, let's talk about how well I did. This is take two. Take one um, disappeared off my phone. Um, just didn't save properly. So this is take two. <laughs> so I'm going to have to try and do it a little bit quickly this time because I'm in a hurry. So um, the rule for Year of Whips in 2018 was you can choose, you can finish 10 whips or if you choose more than 10 you have to finish at least half of them. So I chose 25 whips and so in order to win Year of Whips I have to finish 13. Um, spoiler, spoiler alert, I think I did, but let's go through them and I'll show you what I achieved. So the first whip I worked on was called Angle of Love by the Cross-Eyed Cat and I finished it back in February I finished this so there it is it's cute it's nerdy um, yeah I just like it it's like um you can try and use theories to explain love but you can't really explain it yeah I guess it's romantic it's really cute um, I stitched it on 14 count Ada I stitched it um, with some silks that a friend called Mel um, died for me years ago, 10 years ago. Um, I finally stitched with them. They're beautiful. Uh, I can't show you the chart because I've already given it away. But there it is. Angle of Love. Super cute. Love it very much. There's a finish. I'm going to put a counter up here somewhere, I think. There's a finish. Yay! One for one so far. Um, so number two that I intended to finish was... This one here, Bella Butterfly by Nora Corbett. Um, I finished this one last year. She's up there. Um, and my, I wanted to finish this one this year. And I did. There she is. Um, she's beautiful. I did her skin over one. Let me get the light up. That's better. did her skin over one. Um, there's some massive beads on her I don't know if you can see them she's very sparkly she's very bright and colorful she's very pretty it, she's done on 32 count antique white Lugana I love her um, so there's there's another finish um, number three and four I said I was going to finish the next two in the series which were Bella Rose at the top and Bella Hydrangea at the bottom I didn't finish these. I actually didn't even start them. So that's two fails. Bom -bom. Number five is everybody's favourite, <laughs> including mine. Um, the Celtic Sampler by The Needle's Praise. This is part one. Wallace. Oh, there's a bit of glare. I'm sorry. There we go. By The Needle's Praise. This is Darlene Osteen. Um, there we go, that's what it looks like when it's done. I am not done, this is not a finish. Um, my goal was to finish all the stitching, but not the metallic on this first part, because I also need to stitch the second part, then wash it, and then do the metallics. So, I didn't finish all the stitching on the first part. Um, basically the whole year I've been working on this section up here. So, um, I have done a lot in this section this year, but obviously didn't finish it. The problem is it's all queen stitches. If you haven't heard me rant about queen stitches, I will spare you. Suffice to say, I don't enjoy them. Um, so yeah, if I could just finish this, I'd feel so much closer to finished. Unfortunately, this one and this one, I think, are also full queen stitch. <laughs> um, yeah, I also finished this little one this year, um, except for the, all the gaps you see here, here, here. All the gaps are filled with metallics um, because this whole thing is full coverage. But it's super pretty. I really like it. I did not finish it. So it'll go on to Year of Whips for next year. 2019. I am going to do Year of Whips in 2019. The rules are a bit different. Um, but that's okay. I'll make it work. I'm not going to choose as many pieces. So hopefully I will finish more than <laughs> finish more of them. Um, yeah. So get in there. project bags I made. Okay, number six. Contessa with Squid by Heaven and Earth Designs. I know I've shown this many times. 
Um, the artwork is by Omar Rayan and I think she's super cool. So my goal for this was to finish page two and I did not. <laughs> um, this here is the corner of page one. So page two would have taken up pretty much all of this gridded area and I didn't do it. Um, I worked on it only in Mania for one day, I think. So I probably did maybe those 400 stitches, 350 odd stitches. Um, yeah, so that's not finished. <laughs> that will have to go onto Year of Whips for next year. Mm. Oh, number seven, good. Number seven is Fir Tree Mountain. Um, from the Cat's Whiskers Design Studio. This is part of a uh, set of three smalls like that. And I made these two in 2007 for two friends of mine. We used to work on night shifts together, the three of us, and we'd stitch together on night shifts um, at a nursing home. And so I made the blue one for Veronica and the pink one for Tara. And I, I intended to make the green one for me, but I just never quite got around to it. Um, I finished it this year. And yesterday I FFO'd them. So, here they are. Ta-da! Um, little needle book with some, uh, what's this called? Cording, I guess. It's my <laughs> pre-married initials and 2007 on the back. Um, in the middle, just some felt. It's lined with silk dupion here. Ooh, shiny. Um, little cloisonne beads on the bottom um, and these this is a case with another cloisonne bead a tassel same on both sides here are the scissors I put in there because um, I think they look good with this and the little scissor fob so I, I'm really proud of my job finishing these um, I did finish the other ones 10 years ago but 10 years ago was a long time and I couldn't remember what to do luckily I had pre-cut um, and pre um, prepared like the, the um, what's the stuff in here called it's skirtex I think see how you can squeeze it and it goes like that skirtex um, and I'd even made some of the cords already so um, yeah it did come together quite easily which was good so that was yesterday's project <laughs> just in time to show you for your whips so that was a finish yay Next, number eight is Fire and Ice. That's this one. I think people have seen this before. Um, it's from Custom Crafts, based on artwork by Charlene Linskog Osorio. And this is big. Uh, here it is. Did work on this this year, but not much. It is not finished. <laughs> so, yeah, I worked on it earlier in the year, maybe around April or June. Um, what did I do? I worked on mainly this blue part here because pretty much none of this section was done. Um, I did this section up here and then I came down here and did that. I wanted to finish this this year but that was an unrealistic goal let's say. I don't like stitching on this. Um, the black fabric is fine. It's 32 count linen. I like the black. Um, it's just so bitsy and weird and there's no good way to measure your progress. Like you can't say, I'll finish that tree or I'll finish that 100 by 100 square um, because it's so bitsy. You can't park really. It's sort of more cross country and oh, it looks weird there. Yeah, looks really good though. When it's done, it'll be fantastic. It'll be totally worth it. So that one I did not finish. Unrealistic goal. <laughs> I think I knew that at the beginning of the year, but I was challenging myself. Um, then number nine and number ten were two pages on Gamer Nouveau or Gamer, maybe it's just called the Gamer. Um, the artwork is by Medusa Dollmaker um, and the kit came from Gecko Rouge. She's cool, I love her. So I had already finished page one last year. My goal for this year was to finish page two next to page one and page eight below page one. So there's page one. I did not finish page two. <laughs> But I did finish page 8, and that's page 8 there. And I think it looks awesome. I can't get over how cool that piranha plant is. He's so cool. Um, yeah, this is super fun to stitch. I have not been in much of a full coverage mood this year. I haven't done much, but um, it really looks cool. I need to go back to it. Uh, yeah, so one finish and one not finish. And I'll probably put page 2 on next year's Year of Whips. 
Um, number 11 was Gaze a While by The Heart's Content. And it is a finish. Ooh, glare. Okay. That's a bit better. Um, so there it is. This is stitched on 40 count silk gauze. It was a kit with all um, the Verisois silks. And I framed it in a frame from Kitten Stitcher. And I think it looks lovely. The frame's not perfect, but it works. The colour's a bit... Doesn't go perfectly, but it's really hard to find a small frame, so I'm happy with this. And I think I'll enter it in the show next year, just because it's small. <laughs> so, there's a finish. Uh, number 12. This is probably my proudest finish of the year. Oh, it doesn't quite fit. This is Japanese Octagon Box. I'm sure you've all heard me go on about this ad nauseum. I love it. I'm so proud of it. It looks amazing. Um, this was started back in probably 2007, like most of my stuff. Um, and I finished, I think I'd only done the first two panels and I'd done the outline of all the other panels. So I did a lot this year. I filled in all the rest of the panels. I did all the borders at the bottom and all this backstitching between the panels <laughs> was not charted. I added it myself just because I'm obviously a masochist. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's finished and it looks amazing and you better believe this is going in the show next year because I love this. I decided I'm not making it into the box. I'm just going to frame it as is because it looks amazing. So there we go. Japanese octagon box is a finish. Yay. Uh, number 13. Oh, number 13 was a secret whip. Um, one of the things we had to do for this year's year of whips was select a secret project that we wanted to work on that represented Solval Stitching to us. Solval Stitching is the group on Facebook that runs this stitch along. Um, that's Mel Melanie Watkins' group. She's awesome. Um, and I struggled to actually think of what I could stitch to represent the group. Um, but in the end, I chose this piece and I like it because I feel that the group we're in, um, we're all about supporting each other, encouraging each other to um, through the journey um, to challenge ourselves to finish things we thought we could never finish and do great things. So um, I chose this one. It's a little kit from Bucilla or Bucilla maybe. It's called uh, Leap of Faith and it says she took a leap of faith and grew her wings on the way down. And here it is. All finished. Um, I think this is the first thing I finished this year. And I think it's really pretty. I love it. Um, I swapped out the called for, I swapped out the provided um, even weave and just used 14 count Ada because I like the Ada better. Um, but that turned out to be maybe not the wisest idea because there were a lot of fractional stitches in this. But I think it turned out great. I really like it. Um, yeah. And I think it, I think it does represent the group well. I think that, you know, when I'm taking a leap of faith to finish 25 projects in a year, that group is there to support me. So that's why I chose this. So that's another finish. Um, oh, this is one of my favorite projects of the year. Um, it is Love and Wisdom by The Drawn Thread. And I chose to put this on Year of Whips because I started it in December. Um, I knew that Tim and I just decided to get married, so I knew I was probably going to get married this year, which I did, and that this was going to be my wedding sampler. This has been my, my, in my plans for my wedding sampler for a long time, years, long before I met Tim, probably over 10 years. Um, and here it is, finished as my wedding sampler. Ta-da! And I think it looks gorgeous. I love this. Love it very much. Um, it says, wisdom tells me I am nothing, love tells me I am everything. And it's a pretty, um, this section in here has 26 stitches, one for each letter of the alphabet, <laughs> which is really cute and really fun. And there's a lot of stitches I had never done before. Um, and I changed the alphabet here to our wedding date and names. And I love this. I think it's gorgeous very meaningful to me. I love the verse. Um, Tim's changed my life in a lot of ways and this verse totally, totally reflects that. Um, he's a great guy. <laughs> I'm very lucky. Um, 
And these beautiful Celtic knot charms came from the drawn thread as well. So that's a beautiful finish. I love this. I must, I'd like to finish it as a bell pull. Um, there's nothing stopping me from doing that right now except I need to find one and have it shipped and pay for it. And I don't want to at this point, so. But yeah, I'd love to hang it up right at the end of the hallway. So when you walk up toward our room, you have to see it. Just to remind him that he can't get out of it now. Okay, number 15. That was a finish, by the way. Number 15 is not a finish. <laughs> this is um, Merchant Mermaid by Mirabilia. Um, this was a very ambitious addition to the list. I think I knew I wasn't going to finish it, but I wanted to work on it. I think that's why I put it on the list. And I did work on it, probably for only a few days though. And this is what I've done. Not very much. I've been struggling with this blending filament. See how sparkly it is? It looks great, doesn't it? Um, the problem is it's like a, it's a flat ribbon. <laughs> so I, I decided not to actually spend the time um, laying every stitch so that the ribbon laid flat that way and that way every stitch. Um, I decided bugger it. <laughs> They're all twisted up and I don't care. It looks sparkly. It looks good. Um, but yeah, it was tiresome to work with. Yes, very tiresome. Um, but it looks good, doesn't it? Um, so I don't know how much I did this year. I think I had already started the blending filament down to there. So probably all the rest of the blending filament is all I did this year. Not very much. Yeah, not, not great progress, but eh, what can you do? So, not a finish for that one. Number 16 and 17 are the Prairie School Alphabet. Um, I didn't find my charts, guys. I just reordered them. I know, sad. I looked in the boxes. I couldn't find them. So this is a reorder. It's a stupid photocopy. It's not a cardstock. I'm really sad. Um, um, so I had already finished A is for Anchor. I wanted to do B is for Blackbird and C is for Cow this year. I did finish B is for Blackbird, Blackbird, but I did not finish C is for Cow. So let me show you. There they are. This is a big piece of fabric. Sometimes I open it up and I can't actually find where the stitching is because it's so big. So there we go. There's B is for Blackbird, all done. Oops. Oh. There's my... Oh, that's where C is for Cow will go. That's my little tiny start. <laughs> Um, but yes, as you can see, I have not yet stitched C's for cow. So, there we go. B's for blackbird is done though. Um, I guess I'll put C's for cow on next year's year of whips. Um, they're actually quite big projects really. A lot of stitching in them. But I do want this piece done one day, so I'll do another letter next year. Um, right, that was 16 and 17. Number 18 is Regal Peacocks by Teresa Wensler. Um, the magazine's already been passed on, so I can't show you, but I have finished this. There we go. Regal Peacocks. Um, this was stitched two over two on a 36 count even weave of some kind, and it's sparkly. It's not opalescent, it's actually sprayed with some kind of sparkly stuff. But there it is. Nice bright colours. Not a quick stitch. There's a lot of, um, are they blends? There's no blends, but there's a lot, just a lot of colour changes and detail and a lot of backstitch. A lot of elements completely outlined in backstitch. Um, but it looks good. It's worth it. Finish. Okay. Number 19. I did not finish. This is Sarah Elliott. It's actually the sewing chest of Nantucket's sister sailor, Sarah Elliott. Um, by Primitive Traditions. This is out of print now. Sorry, but you can still get this box top um, as, a, as a standalone chart. Um, I have the full chart, so I'm going to do all of those little smalls as well. I love this little <laughs> scissor case with a crook jaw, the whale on it. I love it. Um, I still have a lot to do on this. I need to do this for my mum. I want to get it done by her birthday in 2020 because she'll be 60. I bought this all for her in 2010 <laughs> for her 50th birthday. So. Obviously, I have a lot of work yet to do. Hmm. I think this year I worked on maybe everything below the boat. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. That sounds about right. Um, yeah. I have a long way to go. 
and I don't really enjoy working on it, probably because it's not for me. <laughs> um, yeah. Oops, I'm a selfish, selfish stitcher. Sorry, I'm dropping whips everywhere. Okay, that was not a finish. Number 20 was a finish. Um, this is, I love this, it's so cute. This is Shroomhilda from Dimples Designs, um, Terence Nolan. She's out of print and I've already given the chart away. Please don't ask. Drew, did you ever get the chart? I never heard from you. Just let me know if you got it. Okay, that's all I want to know. Um, so, yeah, she's super cute. I love her. Um, <laughs> a little opera singing mushroom straight out of Ride of the Valkyries. I mean, she's fantastic. Um, she's so sparkly. She's so pretty. I really like the fabric she I put her on. I wasn't sure, you know, the whole way through. It just didn't look right. And then when the back stitch came on, it just all came together. It looks great. Love her. She's totally going in the show next year. I need to get a frame. Love her. Finish. The next one is also a finish. This is Silver Medieval Sampler by Designs DHC. They'll be, um, I'll write the names of all the whips down below. But there won't be a link to this one because this one's also out of print. So there it is. This is beautiful. Lots of detail in this. Um, it does fade into the fabric a bit, but I kind of knew that would happen. And I like that it kind of looks like it's woven in like a tapestry. So very pretty. Um, the fabric is 20, sorry, 32 count river sticks from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, and it's finished and I stitched most of it on my honeymoon in the UK, in Europe. And I love it. It's beautiful. Um, so we're getting close to the end. Last time I ran out of space. We're good. 22 minutes. Okay. Um, there's only four more left. This one was a finish. This is Singer Sampler Part 1 from Silver Creek Samplers. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before. Um, and I did finish it. Ta-da! There it is. All finished. Um, it's just the first two panels. I have the rest here. So that was part one. Part two. Me, Fa. Part three. So, La. And Tido, part four. So they're all here. I might put all four of these on next year's year whips. Not sure. But there it is. Part one was finished, so that's one win. Um, I'd need to bring these words all the way across to um, make sure part four, because this, for 2019 year of whips, you have to have started all your whips. Whereas in 2018, you didn't have to have started them yet. <laughs> so I'll need to make a start on all three parts if I want to use them all in next year's year of whips. And the easiest way I can think of to do it is to bring these words across. When you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. So, that's a finish. Very happy. It was a lot of fun to stitch too, actually. It came up very quickly, which is nice. So, that's my last finish. I have three more, but none of them are finished. Um, the next one was Siren JD by The Sampler Cove. Um, it looks good on here, but it looks so much better in person. Let me show you. So here it is. Oh, let me get this behind. Oh, it's upside down. Tash. <laughs> I can't get my act together today. <laughs> there we go. Ta-da! Doesn't that look super amazing? I love the colours on this. I'm sorry, the reflective plastic is shining right through. You can't see it really well. Uh, that's a little bit better. Not really. Okay, well, um, Sir and JD by the Sandler Cove. That's what I've done so far. This year, all I've done is just this partial motif up here, um, which is disappointing. It's shameful. I feel really bad about it. Um, my excuse is that I lost the chart. <laughs> Um, I ran out of time. At the beginning of the year, I didn't know that I was going to be away for a month on holiday. Um, I lost my stitchy bug completely for like a whole month around November. 
Um, and and then earlier in the year as well, I lost my stitch bug, if I can remember correctly. And I finished a whole bunch of other things, so I unfortunately didn't get to this, but it will definitely go on next year's Year of Whips because I want this finished. I love it. I really love it. It's like one of my favourite things I've ever stitched. So, oops, that goes back here. Uh, I'm disorganised. There's too many, too many whips and things flying around. Okay, so that was not a finish. This one is also not a finish. I didn't work much on it at all, actually. So this is a strawberry sampler by The Needles Praise. This is another Darlene Osteen. Um, so as you can see, it is all done in black work, almost all of it, and it's all fully reversible. Um, this is also reversible cross stitch down here. So. I've not done very much on this. Um, I think I only stitched on it for Mania. And I hate that. I wish I had done more because, you know, it would have been good. And that, so I'd already done that top band. I think I worked on it only in Mania and I only did this, this band here. A partial band. Um, this is the back. And because it's reversible, it looks the same as the front. Which I love. It's so clever, right? I'm so impressed with myself when I work on this. I mean, how cool is that? Um, I really like this. I want to work on it more. It's the hard thing about pulling all these whips out is I have massive whip guilt and I want to work on everything immediately. Um, yeah, so that is really nice, but it was not a finish. Okay, and last but not least, this is the 25th piece I nominated to finish this year. And I didn't finish it. Um, I can't show you a picture. Um, I can put a put a picture in up here. Um, it is. It started for me as a mystery stitch along um, way back in 2006, I think. Um, it's from Stickadine von der Wienberg, and it is called the Tranquility Sampler. And this is where I'm up to. Ta-da! Um, it's stitched one over one on 32 count opalescent cashmere glitz from Silk Weaver. Um, um, I'm, um, I just chose my own palette of random gentle arts and wigs dye works and I've done, I actually have made pretty good progress this year to be honest. Um, I didn't finish it but I did do eight or nine full motifs um, for a certain, for the first few months of the year, I actually said to myself, I'm going to do one motif a week um, on the weekend, uh, which I did for a few weeks, but I was finding that it was taking two or three full days of stitching um, to do a motif, and it was just taking a bit too much time, to be honest. So I dropped that plan and I didn't work on it again for the rest of the year. Um, but I really like what's done and I want to finish it. So I think I'll put it on next year's Year of Whips too. Um, and even if I don't finish it, at least I'll get some work done on it, so that's good. Put fluff on it. So, that is my last whip. Not finished. So that means, in total, hopefully I put a count up here, there were 13 finished and 12 unfinished. So I did finish more than half of my whips, which means I won your whips. I'm really happy. Um, you all told me I couldn't do it. You told me I was crazy. You were wrong. I did it. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Next year is going to be even more fun. Um, and I can't wait. And I have to go because my video is about to cut out. Um, I owe you a regular update and I will do that at some point. My stitchy bug has been AWOL. But I think it's coming back. Um, I've been, I stitched for hours yesterday. So I think we're going okay. Alright guys. I will see you later. Bye.